Hey guys, this video I'm going to show you how to save a basic high score and uh, from another scene or menu. So let's get to it. Okay, I've already made another video with uh, how to add the score onto the screen when you collect the coins. So please go check out my uh, how to make a score point system video in my move video move script video and then come back to this one all right let's get to it so let's make a, a death script so when we die it will save our score I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Where the hell is zoom? Okay, cool. So when we die, okay, how, how are we going to die? I guess, uh, if we touch something, it kills us. So let me go ahead and do that. We're going to use the void on trigger function. If statement. If the other dot game object is, it also means equal. Oh, we forgot to put tag equals, or it means is um, death. Then we want to do something, and we will uh, deactivate the game object. So this dot game object dot set active false. Okay, cool. Let's save that. And test it. But we need to have an object to kill us, so let's make a cube and call it death. And drag it down a little bit. And let's add a tag. All right, the object is now called death and it has a tag of death. And let's add the material to it. Uh, create material death. Give it a color of red. Go back to death game object and go to materials element zero. Choose death and do the is trigger click box tick box whatever you want to call it all right and now we need to add a rigid body go to add component rigid body to death and unclick use gravity and click is schematic that means it will not move and let's just kind of make the bottom uh, the death position and just stretch it out with the scale on the X transform. So it's like lava or something. Okay, cool. And if we play the game, uh, we should 
turn off and we're not turning off why are we not turning off oh we didn't add the script to the uh, the player so add the death script to the player and there we go we died alright and let's add a second uh, text field in our under canvas let's just duplicate what I have so far and let's call it a game over and drag it over you died game over now we have to make the text field a little bit wider so go to your width right here and just drag it over it looks fine for now just for test purposes alright and let's go to our diff script I don't know why it's not opening. Okay, and let's declare a public game object and just call it a game over text. And since you don't die when you start the game, you need to set the game over text to not be visible. So you do game over text dot set active false at start turns off the game object at the start. You have not died yet. Okay, and when we touch death, then we need to turn on the game over text. So dot set active false. Okay, let's test that. First, we have to. Uh, where is it? Our coin or our player, and drag the game over text to the game over text game object field that's public. And when we play it, the text should disappear and go die. Why did it not? Oh, because we have false. My bad, guys. My bad. Don't hate me. Turns on the game object after we die to let the player know it's game over. And turn off the player Let's save it again and try it. Oh, we died. You died. Game over. Okay, cool. Now we need to save our score when we die. So we have to do something with uh, player prefs.